What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But today we have got something that I have been meaning to react to for a couple of months now. Um, so I've been doing this thing on my Patreon where I react to a full Broadway musical every month. And the first one of those that I did was six. And it was the West End version. And it was incredible. It was super duper good. But I had a bunch of uh, people in the comments tell me that I should check out the Broadway version of Katherine Howard's song, All You Want to Do. Uh, apparently it is just, I, one of my patrons I think told me it was just a gut punch. Like it was just a very, very sad song, which I don't think it was necessarily that like heart wrenching in the West End version. I could be wrong. But from what I've heard, the Broadway version and the West End version, they really like stand apart. They are very different, but they are both so incredibly good, which is really neat. Uh, but, you know, it makes sense. It is uh, like a European history musical. Um, but I am really excited. And if you guys do want to see my reaction to the entire West End performance, it is still up on my Patreon right now. Link down in the description. Uh, so thank you everybody, uh, who told me that I should react to this version of this song. I'm really excited. I don't want to cry, so I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. My life's amazing. <laughs> She was the least relevant, Catherine. Oh, yeah. Now I still don't care. <laughs> funny. Yeah, speaking of funny, the love of trying to compete with us, honey. You're right. You're right. I'm going to need all the luck I can get. Your life sounded terrible. And your songs. <laughs> <laughs> and then not? That almost could have been really hard for you. <laughs> then Anne getting your head chopped off. Surely that means you'll win the competition. Oh, wait. Divorce beheaded, died divorce beheaded. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Jane, dying of natural causes. <laughs> I love this show so much. And surviving. <laughs> but seriously, Anna, all jokes aside, getting rejected for your looks legit sounds really rough. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> I mean, look at me, I'm really hot. So yeah, I can't even begin to think of how I compete with you all.
working so, so hard. So he asked me to be his little piece of assistant. <laughs> Serious, stern, and slow. Gets what he wants and he won't take no passion in all that he touches. The sexy secretary to the dowager duchess. Helped him in his office, had a duty to fulfill. He even let me use his favorite quill spill.
<clears throat> you know, let me be the first to say that my uh, the copy that I watched for my full reaction, I don't think the camera was quite this good and quite picked up like the the nuances on Catherine Howard's like face. That was really that was really sad. Like, damn. Okay, let's go ahead and get big. I was I, I always thought ever since watching it that first time that Anne Boleyn was the saddest, that Anne Boleyn wins without a doubt. But watching this performance of this number, I don't think that anymore. I it's I, I think it's Catherine Howard now. That was that was that was really super powerful. Like I need to see this live. Like when hopefully everything gets back to normal and like Broadway opens up and shows are, are, are touring and everything again. Six is like number one on my list. But like this number, it just started out so fun and you know, all you want to do. And it was a great time. But then with each, you know, reprise, which each, you know, going into that chorus, it got slower. It got sadder. It got more heartbreaking. And you just, you knew where it was going, but it just... Oh, it got you. Like, there was so much sadness behind such a fun song, or at least such a fun opening. And it's like, like you know, Catherine Howard, she knows that it's not good. She knows it's a, it's a terrible thing, even before they get married. You know, oh, we got married. Ooh. Yet, there's nothing that she can do about it. It's like, you know, when the king, you know, chooses you or whatever, like, you pretty much have to go. And, oh, my God. But that, that final reprise, though, where she was, like, she, she shied away from people touching her. She was, she was terrified. She was defeated. Like, she realized that this was the end. Like, this, this was her life, and this is how it ends. And that was so powerful. Like, whoever played Catherine Howard uh, on the Broadway version... Well, and the, the 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 West End, you know, London version. They're both incredible. But this Catherine Howard just, oh, man, she she really blew me away. Uh, I might have to watch the entire American Six. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, this, this was great. So Catherine Howard is now my, I don't know, winner, I guess. The winner of Six in my eyes. Uh, with Anne Boleyn coming in second. Uh, but, you know, honestly, when you are beheaded, that kind of puts you to the front of the line in, in my eyes. Um, but yeah, that was really, that was really something. That was really good. I'm very happy that I watched the Broadway version. Because, uh, yeah, they were both super different, but both really good. But this one just, just grabbed you by the heartstrings and just didn't let go. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember, if you do want to see my entire reaction to the West End version, it is up on my Patreon right now. There's a link to that in the description. And we do do a new musical every single month, and it's an awful lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in a reaction very soon.